A common rite of passage for Flutter developers is overflowing a row for the first time. We've all done it, right? You put a string that's just a little bit too long into a text widget contained by a row, and whoops, there's the yellow and black. Recently, the tools team started putting links to Flutter DevTools right inside the exceptions for overflows like this one. You can click on one to go straight to the inspector and see which widget is responsible for wrecking your UI. If you're looking at this screen right now and thinking, wait, dev what now? Let me fill you in. Flutter DevTools are a set of debugging and profiling tools that ship with the Flutter SDK. You can also get to them by clicking this icon while running an app locally. Inside DevTools, you'll find a bunch of tabs, each for a different type of information coming from your app. In the Performance tab, you'll find the Events timeline. This is a single chart that combines info about redraws, garbage collection, and even network requests. There's also a CPU profiler that can provide a bottom-up view, call trees, and a flame chart of where time is spent. The Memory tab offers a timeline of memory consumption and marks off large allocations and GC events. There's a step through debugger in which you can set breakpoints and inspect values. The Network tab shows traffic originating from the app along with responses and times. It can even provide headers and contents for connections made over HTTPS without the hassle of installing test certificates. Rounding out the tabs, there's a structured logging tool, as well as an app size analyzer that can take the output of AOT compiles made with the Flutter tool and show you where space in a compiled app is being used. So the next time you're working on an app, don't skip over this little icon. There's a lot of power in there.